Hello Taurus. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for the week ahead whenever you clicked on the title at the time it intrigued you. And we're going to start with a message from your angels, guides, guardians and ancestors, which is the most important part of the reading to me as it helps to help us understand the spread below. And just to let you know that I go live every Wednesday and Sunday night, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like some free cards pulled for you at the live show, do join us. Everything you need to know about the channel and website is in the description below. Let's get on with your reading. The very first card, it's interesting energies, but we're seeing um, a soulmate here, a very strong soul connection. Heart of Sky, Magic, the Mystical Shaman in the Middle World. Heart of Sky is about creating, manifesting. Heart of Sky is about this, that center of the Milky Way that births planets. This is creation. I don't know how well we can see that. This is creation. Then we have the magic. Whatever you're creating it seems quite magical. It could be that you're looking at it through the eyes. Well, it is a child here. The eyes of a child, something new that is being created, being birthed. And there's a sense of wonderment around it. This could be in love, career, both. As a result, we see a bit of a detachment, almost like a surreal energy that's happening. You're looking at it as magical. This is unfolding. It's being created. It's birthing. But you're looking at it from a, a detached standpoint, almost yeah, like a surreal is this really happening? Is something going to go wrong? If you want something to go wrong, start worrying about it. But this is about the ability to stand outside of a situation, look at the big picture and see how this is going to unfold. And you're having that vision of this unfolding with the middle world. The middle world is about having that balanced, the tree that is growing into a strong oak, deeply rooted, grounded, the the bubble that signifies water, it being watered, the birds signifying the air, the messages from spirit, and of course the fire, the purging, the heat. Strong, strength, whatever is unfolding, whatever is happening, changing, appearing, manifesting. You're it's almost it's almost like the fortune teller. You're seeing it before it happens. You're seeing it a big picture. Now, for this spread, we're seeing conflict. Someone standing in your way, creating obstacles. Argumentative. Not being completely honest. This is one or more people. Um, it could be someone who's trying to stand in. You, you are taking control here. You're taking control of your life. And you're having this passionate new beginning, obviously. But someone is not dis not being honest. This has caused a great deal of heartache for you. But you are healing from it. And at the heart of the reading, we have a cup of love coming in for you. Someone who wants to offer you their cup of love. Who wants to sweep you off their feet. It could be that this person is, is being deceptive. Not showing you their true feelings towards you. But we do have fighting energy up here maybe you're fighting with co-workers maybe fighting's too strong a word disagreeing or maybe this was about a breakup and you're coming into union with your true mate a long-term commitment someone that you can build empires with because now the empress shows up we have both the emperor and the empress so despite the, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't call them complications as much as I would call them bits of nuisances that have cropped up while this thing is being created. You're healing from these past nuisances or the worst of that is over. Uh, you, you have a passionate new beginning here. You're sparked, you're inspired. And it looks like a partnership the emperor and the empress, someone new perhaps. 
a new project. And, and if you are in a relationship, Taurus, this could be someone just trying to meddle in your personal life. We have a spiritual healing as a result of this love. And look at how this lands emperor, messenger of water, that person that comes in and offers their cup of love, sweeps you off your feet. This is a deep emotional love with spiritual healing right next to the empress. The empress has that healing energy as well as birthing, birthing something new. The two of you are birthing something new. So this looks like a partnership, whether business or love or both. There is some uh, snags, but they're more of a nuisance than an obstacle or challenge. I think the only challenge here, Taurus, is that you don't let it trigger you. Because we have hopes, dreams, and wishes on the horizon. A portal opening to these hopes, dreams, and wishes through this healing energy, through whatever it is you are creating. We have wisdom. This is your energy, Taurus, the Hierophant. Landing on this argumentative, conflicted energy. And so this tells me that, no, you're not going to let it trigger you. And you're standing firm on what is right. And seeing a deeper meaning behind it all. And moving towards something that is very much more meaningful. Or perhaps you're arguing with this person because they mean that much to you. So you're going to argue with them until you can get them to agree with you. Rejoice and celebration. The emperor taking control. Being able to rejoice and celebrate over whatever this new project is. Love is. Let's crack these cards. They've all been pre-shuffled. We have financial and material changes. So that may be the triggering or snagging here. Argumentative over money. Making some changes to make way for this thing that you're creating. Deception and envy. Somebody does not want to see you move forward. And somebody may be hiding their true feelings for you. This could be you making that offer of love. And this person is being masked, not showing their feelings. But then again, this could just also be someone trying to put those speed bumps in your way to keep you from having this passionate new beginning. Seven of Air is being clarified with Harmony, Gemini Energy. So either uh, this person is hiding their love for you. That's what it looks like. There is someone that is not showing. They're wearing a mask. They're wearing a mask. They're not showing you how they really feel. But they feel very strongly connected. This is about divine timing. Being divinely guided to this true love. Conflict and defeat. This person may feel defeated. Saying, yeah, this isn't going to happen with Taurus. Or you may be feeling like it. It's not going to happen with this person I'm in love with. They're not showing their feelings. Or someone who is being very dishonest. It keeps stepping in the way. Three of air is that loss. That healing from that loss. Is bringing in hope. Desires. Wishes dreams, opening of those doors. And here we have Cancer Energy Triumph. This is the chariot. This is claiming the city you've conquered. They or you. But whatever this triumph is, has everything to do with the emperor and empress. Achieving overcoming winning the war and not just the battle 
We have balance with your spiritual healing and fulfillment of wishes when it comes to your hopes, your dreams, your wishes are about to be fulfilled. I think that's why, I think that's why the uh, magic card came up with the child. It's almost like you're seeing the fulfillment of wishes coming into, into a reality and you're like, wow, is this for me? Is this even possible? Has God heard my prayers? An answer to prayers. An answer to prayers. That's what this whole reading feels like, Taurus. Something magnificent, miraculous happening in your life. What is the advice for Taurus? Express your love. It is safe for you to love. There is deception. Someone's hiding their feelings. And give your relationship a chance. So if you are focused on an emperor or empress as your mate, give this person a chance. They just might be hiding their feelings, their true feelings for you because there is some deep emotional love here. Express your love to them. It's safe to do so. And you may uncover another angle of this magic more suiting to your understanding if that resonated for you at all Taurus please do hit the like share subscribe check out the description below the video for when we do free tarot card polls as well as over at the website God bless you I hope to see you again soon bye bye for now mm -hmm.